Hi guys, I'm Joe Miller, two-time World Long Drive champion, and uh, I'm here today at the London Golf Club, and I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how to increase your speed and increase your distance. Okay, so number one is to do more with increasing distance. Uh, you see this every time on a, on a golf course. The guys tee the ball up, tee the ball very low, okay? So first things first, I'm going to get you to tee the ball up slightly higher. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to allow you to increase your angle of attack. Um, by increasing the angle of attack, and what I mean by that is do you hit up or do you hit down on the ball at the point of impact, we're going to hit up on the ball, that's going to reduce the backspin, and that's also going to get the ball going faster through the air and with less spin, more roll. So it should look hopefully something like this. Give that a go, see how you get on. Okay, so tip number two. Shoulder turn is a big one for long drivers, okay? So you see a lot of the amateur guys and even some tour players, when they get to the, what they sit, consider the top of the backswing here, club is probably parallel, sometimes a bit short, and their shoulder turn roughly at a 90 degree angle. For long drivers, what you'll see is a huge shoulder turn. So if I put the club across my chest, okay, you can see that there's maybe a tour player's finish, but long drivers are trying to get into a position somewhere there. So the bigger shoulder turn you can create, the faster that club is going to build up speed and the more distance you're going to get. So it should look something. Okay, so tip number three. Uh, in the previous tip number two, when we were talking about shoulder movement and range of motion here, there's a, there's a good thing that long drivers do, and Bubba Watson is probably the best example of this on the PJ Tour. As your shoulders will turn to a certain point here, there's obviously a limited range of motion of how much you can turn. Now, what long drivers will do is there'll be a slight heel lift on the left foot, Bubba Watson obviously on his right foot, uh, but it, what that does is, as you get to your point, your limited point of shoulder turn here, a slight left of the left heel will allow for even a bigger range of motion. On the way down, this left foot will then stump back down and it's a real power source for long drive and for getting more distance. So it should look similar to this. Give it a go at home, see how you get on. <laughs>